if you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. May I remind you, this is my house? May I remind you that it is not yours yet. Might as well try moving a mountain out of the way. Fair enough. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Ailsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behavior. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. How? It was just... Just harmless fun, that's all. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever. About my father, the maid, this whole damn house! Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never! Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Impudent brats! What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned... What was it? Chores involving a rose. What, what does that mean? Something about the garden, perhaps? We could ask Rory. Or is it about the attic? Oh, I wonder. Whatever it is, it's something she doesn't want us to know. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. Interesting.
What is it? Cut! <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. I'll come inside in a bit. Don't go. Can I just have a few It's more not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's happening to me? David? Is everything all right? We should make haste. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. Oh, stunning. Come and look at this. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, looks like one of the stones is missing. A heavy enough stone to weigh yourself down with. Something's carved into each one. I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, I. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I'd watch that. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. That's an unusual-looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye, that's a been me. A flower for the flower of Skahandu. Cecilia. My aunt? They're for her? I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye ken? Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why, she's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What's she to you? You didn't ken her? No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. 
He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. Aye, I'm sure you will, laddie. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. Aye, you must. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And... this... These are... dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here, ever since Cecilia's gone. Are these... I Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I, For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns, you can. You are unworthy of the name, Gordon! Get away from her, you coward! <sighs>
get lost! You monster! Who is that old woman? It takes courage to confront Edward like that. They lied to me. Who did? All of them. <laughs> What just happened? I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong. Determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her. It was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't... Uh, <clears throat> you can? Hmm? I think so, yes. Aye, well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it, for picking the wrong man for her meat. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. I need to know if there's proof to what I saw. The crack is right there. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great-grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. The secateurs should be... Here they are. How could I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. Trust your instincts, laddie. 